Good evening and welcome to Sam Hilly. I just found out that I can't play well anymore because of how sleepy I am. I just lost a ladder game against my good friend Thomas, who is on this lot. And uh, it was his T2 stage. He had some T2 air. I had Isle Swiftwinds. And uh, he attacked me with Torpedo Bombers and lots of T1 Bombers. And uh, he was on T1, wait, T2 land as well. He had pillars and mobile shields and stuff. And I had six idle harps. Six, all right? So I managed to somehow micro half of my swift winds while fighting air, while the other half was idling, and I still had six harps in my base. So in the end, <laughs> I lost. Like, all my stuff was where I didn't need it, and my ACU just died. That was ridiculous. So, no more ladder today, but uh, it's probably enough for a hilly plateau. Like, I can still eco, right? And that is what matters on a map like this. If you look at that, build range stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm so going for. Eight pigeons, like that's complete overkill actually. But I want to go second max, third air transport first, and that is a very pigeon intense build because the mass extractor already consumes the power of three pigeons. And for assisted transport rush, you need an extra five on top of the hydro, and that could actually be a little greedy. So if I fail, I'll just run out of mass, and this is not going to work at all. But let's hope for the best. And best case is uh, this is going to be an awesome build. That gives me very competitive eco early on, and uh, even better eco late game. So the trees on this map are actually great, but I don't want to start manually uh, controlling my engineers because if I did that now I would have to do so for the rest of the game it looks like uh, Gray is not claiming this one I'm not sure if it's actually mine but if he's not taking it he's probably not taking it for a reason okay so uh, maybe I could have started the second mass structure a little bit earlier you know what I'll just go for two mass strikers the tree reclaim is so amazing I may regret it a little later, but whatever. Yeah, Bamble is right. Uh, Cannabis is my opponent. He uh, plays Cyber. User joined your channel. And uh, he plays uh, with oh, hello. Fire Beetles and Corsairs. Hey, Marx. How are you? I'm uh, recovering from a pretty bad illness, so I may not be I'll... very conversive right now. So, But I did get some actually fucking awesome news this week so I'm happy oh uh, okay what one after the other so first get well soon I thank you a and what news uh, I just got promoted to a senior mechanical engineer so I just got lots of nice new monies and stuff so I'm gonna dump into some attorneys here and fap and other fun things great yeah man maybe I can buy someone to do software engineering and fix the map editor on my computer Fix the map editor. That's broken. No, it's just for me. I keep breaking it. Oh, oh how do you do that? I think I'm just unlucky. I think my system just doesn't like uh, Forge Alliance in general. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's hard to explain. I know you're in a game right now. It's, it's tough to explain. It's uh, it's pretty annoying. I just had a very stupid loss in the ladder game. It was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> like, I had six idle harps in the enemy T2 land stage. Six? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm so sleepy. I'm in a hilly now. I can probably handle hilly, but 
That ladder game, I just want to forget about it. I saw the contents of the people in that one. I'm pretty sure you can use the generic anti Morox build there. Oh, oh that's actually a good idea. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that's strange, uh, Morox recommending the generic anti Morox build, but yeah, I'll go for it. Yeah, well, the best thing about this new job is that I won't have to drive an hour and a half to work in the morning and drive an hour and a half back, so I'll actually be well rested and not be a son of a gun. It's very hard to be a kind person all the time when you're when you're just sleepy all the time. I totally agree. I commute for around one and a half to two hours a day, and that's just one way. Oh jeez. So I know that feeling. Yeah, I'm gonna be 10 minutes away from work, so that's gonna be like ridiculous. Oh, damn. Like, double damn, damn actually. Damn. Like, first 10 minutes is absolute luxury, and second, this guy just died, and I don't know to what. <laughs> like, there were two ACUs against two ACUs in the center, and one suddenly blew up. I don't think it's one of ours. Yeah, it's not. That was strange, though. He's probably going to get gestures and try to snipe somebody now, so. My job to stop that. Wait, how is that even possible? We have three ACUs on 7,000 HP in the center, and none is in the red. Huh. Maybe it was one versus three after all, or something. And that's how that guy died. It could be one of many things. Well, that game probably just became a lot easier. Is it a cannabis guy? No, not him. It was God Eno, one of the front players. <laughs> well, I kind of, yeah, I know who he is. I'm kind of awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him so well, but I guess I'll trust you. I mean, I don't think I've played a game where he hasn't just, like, broken off from anything the team's doing and just get himself killed. He's one of those people where you kind of just put engineers next to his base anticipating, like, the extra resources. The sole reason I tr uh, spam transports every game. Pretty nice eco-management right now. Like, my mass and power are both empty, and the Pigeon completed a second before the power stall. That was so lucky. I need more of that. Mm. He is making gestures on T2 air. Is he so concerned about build time or what is this? Wait, what? Yeah, like, 
it does make some sense because the Jester damage against Ace use is actually higher than the T2 gunship damage. But uh, considering I swift wins, yeah. T2 gunships you can at least get like five, maybe six seconds. In Jester's it's like half. Wait, is the difference so huge? I think Jester's are like 500 uh, HP. And T2 Gunship is like 840 or so? Um, it is that, but they tend to flock to each other a lot more. T2 Gunships, their spread pattern, once they get to their target, opens up a lot more. Jesters tend to, s tend to stay clustered together pretty much longer. It's just the nature of how they move that makes the effect that powerful. Oh yeah, that's like the, the gun uh, pitch, right? That makes them... Mm -hmm. make them yeah, it makes sense. That's always my main argument for like balance things. It's like, yes, these statistics look nice on paper, but when you look at it, like a Percy shot can actually be dodged, while like a Harbinger or Loyalist shot cannot. It's little things like that that people don't really discover until like they start using the balance there. So it's always interesting when people see these things and understand it. I really wish I didn't disconnect from that giant Ian's Cross game, though. Oh yeah, that game was so ridiculous. Did you see the upload from Farms? I did, yeah. Such a lag fest, though. That's why oh, I yeah. didn't upload it. I didn't take it seriously, though. Yeah, I was of course just laughing the whole time. I was just like, I just wrote a text right at the beginning. I'm like, hey guys, do you want me to super rust t3 land or air and then farm is like land i'm like okay and like nobody bothered me i got harbs out at like eight minutes 45 seconds and then your calm drops into my base I'm like oh heaven's gonna be upset he did this one <laughs> <laughs> yep you got away bastard though. that was so common yeah that was so dumb actually Zoe is the best though. T2 oh, yeah. transport oh, yeah. dies to one swift wins like that was four amazing, or five amazing. minutes into the game. <laughs> yeah, Zlo is like really celebrating that whole team game thing. Yeah. I'm actually quite upset because of the new balance stuff. I didn't realize it, but if you even try to upgrade like one T1 mechs or something like that on flank on Wonder now, you're pretty much doomed if you do, if you just do like eight to nine T1 land factories. I've observed and fallen victim to people I've never had in the past because of this, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to do that from now on. There's no time for fun. Yeah, I guess. And the meta got very sweaty. Mm -hmm. And everybody practically spawns with Nano or... Oh, it's one of those games again, where I'm playing against two air players. And everybody complains, so I'm not stopping both. When you're an air player, dude, you're obviously the source of all problems. Yep. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Nudox just got mercy. Like, there were three mercies, five jesters, and one corsair from different people. And they were doing this fake interceptor battle elsewhere. And, like, it was obvious it was a trap, but I wouldn't know what the target was. I wasn't paying attention. So, no fucks given. Just going to reclaim his base.
but that's actually a well-timed uh, death because my setup is going to bottleneck around mass and now that I have strats and with a dead teammate I can just get it from his base I think I'm going to be too tired to make actual food on my own. Typic Grubhub. Typic what? Uh, it's a it, it, it's a state like thing. It's there's a website called Grubhub where like it's uh, it's just like an organization of like food delivery people. Like they don't work for the restaurants. They just like pick up the food and bring it to you. It's like and they've got like a deal associated with the places that participate. It's pretty cool because it's actually discounted as opposed to the normal restaurant food. Okay. It's like a lot of places that normally don't serve food, and I'm going to get some delicious, healthy Thai food. Oh man, that whole strat idea didn't work out, because now I actually have to defend this expansion, and nobody else has units in our team. I guess it's equaling then. Just use the Sophia Pride strategy where you just assume everybody else is gonna die and just rush like a nuke or monkey lord. Oh wait, you're air player, so you can't just exactly do that. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Nice idea though. You know. Yeah, you're pretty much restricted to like dominate air and nuke or something like that. If I can even afford that. Yeah. I usually just like gobble up everything I can, just keep pumping out air and strats to fend off like things. And then I'll get like a T3 arty, it'll take forever, but like I've gotten as early as like minute 33 on hilly, because there's so much mass everywhere. I didn't get uh, much mass because my opening build order was too greedy. I made a 2t2 two two maxes and that delayed my transport a little bit. Was not so smart pre pre drill perspectively. Oh Jesus, that word. Or is it retrospective? I don't know. Now Maverick is just building a T2 firebase in the center. He has TML, which is nice, but there's TMD everywhere. I think people are just going to spam T3 units or like air units at his ACU from all directions. And he's going to die and he's going to complain. Something like that.
That's a shame. I thought I killed all ASFs, but there were four left. Oh dear. And they of course took out my strat. Alright, I think I have to eco more, like, I have to see how far ahead or at a disadvantage I am. My direct opponent doesn't have D3 mixes, but he probably has Ras, I suppose, like I could imagine. Now, this is the direct opponent of the guy who died. He has a lot more map control than me, but the amount of T2 core mixes is the same. So, I'm probably bit ahead of my guy and a bit behind the other so it's more or less equal but since uh, my opponent had his massive structures for longer than me I should probably assume I'm a little behind in the yellow get some experimental soon or perhaps a seraphim combat AC with two nano upgrades T3 and gun that's a pretty annoying to deal with. Now this is going to go Omni. Do we have here? Is a cannabis just pausing his air? It seems so, he's not making any air. He has a ras. He's spamming power. Could that be Taylor Snipe? Or could he be sending his eco to someone else? Like yellow maybe? That is a gun AC without any extra upgrades. I really regret I didn't go for the uh, Marx counter build now, Marx. <laughs> I really regret I didn't think that game was gonna fill. I just went and put put did stuff. I don't like that food on the way. I want air, so I'm going to make some uh, arty drops. Like on this map, people typically have few mixes, but they are on high attack level, and they're under shields and Sam. So 
Strats don't really work. Mercies don't really work. And there are my, many other options. Uh, I'll give that back. Yeah, so I think uh, Artidraws are probably the best. And of course, uh, if you can do that, then go for Heart Drops. Should probably, uh, yeah, I should probably go for Heart Drops. Why not? Good old Hilly. Already kind of turtlish. No, Apple Pie is attacking this uh, front thing. He might have shield or something. Very unlikely that he attacks without shield. Now we got some harps on the left. I think I got found out with my RD drops. But uh, he actually needs air to, uh, to kill that stuff. I want to get a second Omni over there and deactivate the behind one. Okay, he's scouting. Maybe trying to get a lock on the transport that is filling with Arnie. That is probably the worst raid I've seen in a while. <laughs> Well, okay. As long as he can still shield it somehow. Yeah, he's locking the transport with the Ardy. You see that? But I'll probably uh, kill him before. Yeah. This. Why am I even describing it? You see it. Okay, I'm not going to send all. But uh, with a cyber and air opponent, you never know how he's distributing the air across the map. Could be that you run into a ton of stealth fighters, and you don't know. Or that he actually has nothing. And that's why I need this front on me. Oh, go call. I missed that one entirely. But uh, it came from his mirror and uh, he intercepted it nicely that was a hard drop on us okay that's the scout perimeter trying to i need to scout for real He could be on a very low power laser. People sometimes do that to That's unfortunate. To pretend they aren't going for laser. They just don't build any power. And wait it out pretty much. That's usually uh, quite annoying to deal with. And then on this map you sometimes see nukes in the corners that's also annoying like with a stealth feel of course suiciding ASFs, not cool
No laser yet, but he's getting so many pigeons. It's most likely for laser. M mass for fatty, yeah, of course. I've been waiting for that. I haven't looked at my eco bars for like 10 minutes, maybe. I haven't played this game in too long. At least I snap in the team D. I see that. I just can't stop it. Sorry. Okay, I guess it's time to move this stuff in. I guess around here is cool. The problem is that RD drops are really easy to shoot down. Like you pretty much just need two ASFs or so to kill a chain sport. And look at that. <laughs> well, but he's going to have more. And you can see I'm not relying on stealth at all. I'm just moving everything in. But the putting him into an airlock is going to be too expensive. Can't afford that. Looks like he's just taking it. Well, that's probably going to be devastating. I'll start a nuke. Really, two strats. Yeah, I see that. There's certainly going to be more. Oh wait, the pigeons. Oh yeah, that's... That was close. Like, really close. I'll start replaying this pigeon just in case. Yeah, but look at that. Like, if you're a siren, you have to know your math. Like, you have to know how strong your bombers are and stuff. Otherwise, this sort of thing just fails horribly. Like, the snipe was pretty good. Two strats. Could have been lethal, depending on how close I am to these pigeons. Well, now it's too late. I think Orange just quit. Uh, Spill power bottle. Always the same on Hilly. Like today is especially bad because I'm so tired. But I just never have enough build power on Hilly. Unshield you also a horrible idea. I guess let's just make a gate. Today is idle harps day. This is horrible. I don't know why, but I just keep forgetting about my harps every game. It's pretty awful sounding. I know. 
I have 10, I think. Yeah, 10 idle harps. Look at that. Those poor harp lingers. That was actually a pretty nice snipe attempt from a cannabis. He had two strats and I was standing like in between two pigeons, not right in between. I am not sure if, if the pigeons had blown up, I would have died. Like I can't really tell. It was like borderline far away enough. But the idea was really nice. Like if those strats had killed the pigeon and the explosion of the pigeon had killed my ACU, that would have been a horrible death. I probably couldn't look uh, into the mirror for at least a week if I died this way. I hope tomorrow is going to be better. Like today, everything is idling. Sometimes that happens, yeah. So, like, there was this time where I was just intercepting enemy stuff and I was watching my eco. I had 20,000 mass in it. And luckily, I could give everything to my fat boy building ally. But. After that, I noticed I have a build power bottleneck. I started addressing it by making a portal, and then I let the portal idle. Like, look at that. How stupid can I be? Like, I take my residual build power, assist the portal with all of that build power, and then I just don't build anything from the portal. After this game I'm going to sleep and tomorrow I'm just going to play a ladder, first thing in the morning. Sounds commendable. No work tomorrow. How about you? I do have work. Alright. It'll be the awful realization of when I decide to put in my notice of my job. Of what? Sorry? It'll be the awful realization of when I decide to put in my notice for my job.
Okay, I should really go to sleep. I made two Omnis. Yes, indeed. Two Omnis, and they were both running. And like, 70% overlapping. User disconnected from your channel. Is being tired contagious? On the bright side, it was enough for Hilly. Hilly is like high level desert gap. Just not as embarrassing. Well, a slow steamroll can be pretty cool to watch too. I think if you have a huge army of uh, Percivals and Fat Boys, Mobile Shields and Support ACUs, some Antier. And that is pretty amazing to watch how it just slowly kills everything. Of course, they're not nearly as amazing as Harps. And they just clean up the entire battlefield and all eco. I don't really feel like reacting to those bombers. Gray is doing it, so that's cool. consuming all of my mass there's something expensive going on those pigeons probably and the restos GG and good night.